Gingival hyperplasia is a commonly occurring condition which is multi-causal. Chronic periodontitis, caries, drug side effects, and orthodontic appliances can all contribute to gingival overgrowth. By definition, all excess tissue above the epithelial attachment can be removed without violating the biologic width. In this presented video case, a post-orthodontic papillary hyperplasia is easily surgically managed with the Pioneer diode laser. Before planning the surgical removal of the excess gingival tissue, the level of the epithelial attachment is explored with the periodontal probe. Care needs to be taken not to remove any of the attachment. The tissue is checked for adequate local anesthesia as well as marking the incision line with an explorer creating small bleeding points. Diode lasers are low power devices. It is far more efficient to remove tissue by the excision method. If the laser fiber is held in the same plane as the final tissue contour, far less unintentional thermal damage will occur and the tissue removal will be more efficient. Once the bulk of excess tissue is removed, the incision line is beveled into the adjacent attached gingiva. The time used for this part of the procedure should be minimized as perpendicular lasing of pretreated tissue will lead to unnecessary tissue charring. In the second surgical site, a larger amount of tissue will need to be removed. It is interesting to note how the diode laser coagulates simultaneously with cutting. If an insufficient bulk of tissue has not been removed with the initial incision, the additional tissue can be removed during the beveling phase of the procedure. Caution is again urged in not using deep dot causing deep thermal damage by unnecessary power or time of treatment. Further refining of the excision can be done at this stage of the procedure. The blackened tissue tags may be removed using a liquid such as hydrogen peroxide 3% or water and gently scrubbing the lazed area so the immediate post-operative appearance is improved aesthetically. The final rinsing with an air water syringe demonstrates the thickness and integrity of the coagulated connective tissue. This layer will, be, will protect the underlying tissue from post-operative bleeding and seal the sensory nerve endings.